welcome to the next vlog so this vlog is a pretty exciting one so we are actually off to Aintree tomorrow for the uh, winter show jumping championships which is also going to be known this year as Hoyers because Hoyers has been cancelled so all the Hoyers finals are at Aintree and yeah it's pretty good that they're still obviously trying to hold a championship show for everyone and we are very very excited i'm kind of nervous i'm not gonna lie but Aintree have literally done everything possible to try and make it amazing they've literally got all the hoys jumps they've even made like a little um tunnel like hoys have where like you go through the tunnel and you go through the purple curtains to go into the arena so yeah it's pretty exciting um so i have it's quite late at the moment <laughs> It is, I think, about quarter past nine in the evening. We've had a jam-packed day. I got back from work and I started packing the lorry. And then we went off to Roden for the boys to have a walk treadmill session. Brian's obviously pre Hoyer's walk treadmill session. As well as on the combi floor. So I'm hoping that he feels on top form for Aintree. Um, I've literally only just finished packing the lorry and cleaning my tack everything. I'm kind of knackered now. I haven't even packed my own stuff. I need to sell all my own stuff when I go in. But I'm just going to show you guys what I packed. So I will give you another update in the morning. But I'm just going to show you around. So let's get started because I don't want to be talking for too long. So I'm just going to open the back because it's easier to see from this way. Even though the back's open. So mum's trapped the drape in here. Oh, let's um, keep the back. So we've got all of his rugs up here. We've literally got like um, his sea equestrian fleece, his stable rug with a neck, his um, exercise sheet from Aventus, his hood, his other Aventus show rug and another fleece for neck. Um, so we've got a lot of options. Oh, and we've got a waterproof rug here in case it rains to go back up and forth to the arena. Um, I've got my other massage rug in case I need it, my sea question drape. We've got some skips with the, his feeds in them, as well as like a um, hanger thing to hang stuff on. His pink mash in case he needs it. Uh, carpet to put in the back of the lorry. We've got um, hay. Shavings are underneath here, of course, my Venta shavings. We also have brought wood pellets with us because um, it has rained quite a lot at Aintree this week. And last time we went to Aintree um, and it was raining, a lot of the stables were flooded. So we brought wood pellets with us to lay down around the stables in case we need to. So yeah, oh, you can't even see me anymore. So yeah, that's about it. I'm just gonna close this up because it's a bit cold in there. Um, in the morning, we just need to put the fork and broom in there as well as his water bucket. Um, and then that'll be it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go over to the stables now and yeah, get everything done. We have all nice clean tack. I've literally cleaned everything, the stirrups, the levers, the saddle, cleaned all my bridle. And now I just need to clean my riding boots and also I need to clean these because they're a bit dirty. Cleaned as well. So yeah, I'm just going to finish off cleaning my boots and stuff and then I'll go put in the lorry. So the lorry is all packed. We have got some supplements over the back, some treats over here. Uh, some lickets for Brian. We also have his head collar, um, a wash bucket with a sponge sweat scraper, some rope to hang up my drape, a whip, some tack cleaning stuff to re clean my tack. Then I've got my bridle and I need to put my grooming kit in here tomorrow. In this locker, it's a bit packed. So I've got my saddle, my girth that have just been cleaned, as you would have seen, and my half pad, uh, one of my numbers some of my boots so i've got my equibrillium open front tendon and fetlock boots my overreach boots and my bandages to ride him in tomorrow his his other back boots um we also have my other numbers under here my fly bows there my equibrillium massage pad my ice fire boots bag for my chiro traps and my ice boots are there and i think that is about it so i'm gonna turn these lights off and close these up and these ones are as well. Even though I can't even close them. And then we'll go in the lorry. Even though it's pitch black. Um, so, in here at the moment, we just have mum's stuff. I need to sort out all my stuff. Just a lot of bits and pieces, wellies, stuff like that. Uh, my camera, my hat, my riding boots. In the wardrobe we've just got some coats and some rain max 
here are the boys. I just need to finish them off. Um, make sure they're warm enough, skip them out. These are my boots that need to dry because they're still soaking wet. Um, but I'm gonna. So yeah, I'm just gonna fill the boys, make sure they're warm. I need to put Ryan's bed down, messy muck. Um, and yeah, then I'll show you everything and I can go to bed. So it is currently like 10 p.m. Um, I am obviously inside, as you can see. I've finished all horses off, um, Laurie's unpacked. I sat downstairs for ages because I have no motivation at all, but I'm going to pack my stuff now. And I might show you actually what I pack, although to be honest, you probably don't really care, but I'm probably just gonna show you what I pack, like horsey wires, like choppers and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna quickly do that now. And then I'm gonna have a shower and then I'm going to go to sleep because we are leaving at around 10 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, I need to get up early, muck out. Um, I need to put Brian out before we go, let him have a leg stretch in the field for about an hour, and then bring him in. I need to bath him. Then I need to let him dry off before we leave, and then obviously just finish packing whatever we need to pack. Um, so, yeah, and then it's like a seven-hour drive. So, I mean, to be honest, it doesn't really matter. I have not a lot of sleep right now because... I can just sleep all the way there, so, but yeah, um, I'm just gonna get going and then I will speak to you guys once I've packed. Okay, so, I've sorted out my stuff, I think, um, this is what I'm gonna wear tomorrow. So, on the way down there, I'm going to wear my CE Question t-shirt and my CE jumper, my ELT breeches that I've got from CE Question, and obviously my socks and underwear. Then hanging up here, I have all like my stuff that I don't want to crease. So all my t-shirts, my show jacket, um, my gelée from Sea Equestrian, uh, two sh show tops, two show shorts, sh two show shirts, two pairs of jumpers, my Aventus coat, and then in my suitcase, I've obviously got all my underwear, my pajamas, some more leggings and um, joggers, some jumpers, and obviously my masks as well. Um, and then obviously my bag. Yeah. I'm just gonna have a look at my list and make sure that I've packed everything. Not like you even found any of that interesting anyway, but I am gonna go to bed because as you can probably tell, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore because I'm so tired. But I will see you guys bright and early in the morning. So yeah. So this is my outfit of the day. My C jumper, EOT breeches. It is currently like half six in the morning. I'm gonna go over and feed the horses, muck out, and finish all my stuff out. The shavings are in the lorry. All the rugs are now up, and everything is now packed over the back. So we are gonna be ready to leave. Ew. I just gave him an apple, but Brian is all clean. Just gave him a bath. Look how white his socks are. Oh, turns back on. He's all bathed and ready to go. I'm just put the heat lamps on him so he can dry off quicker. Then I'll put him in the stable, to have some hay, and then we'll get ready to leave.
probably not gonna vlog that much. I'm going there, um, probably gonna have a sleep while my phone's charging. And yeah, just chill. And yeah, I'll try and vlog as much as I can, but you know, this is me, so I don't vlog that much. So we are here, it was pissing it down, well it was pouring it down when we got here so I am soaked but we are in a permanent, this is Brian taking his bandages off, he's got a nice big bed, just taking up to ride, Brian is having his little massage. In the minute trouble mark. Brian has got his ice boots on and his massage pad after he's been ridden. After the long journey, he's also got a nicket, which is hiding around here. I gave him a nicket. I need to bring it around here again. Is that it? Is that it? Um, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, the noise that made then. Yeah. I'm having a good night's sleep in there. Fucking special on a double, you are. Jesus. Let's give Dad the really snuggly bugly. Oh, can we all. Oh, it's all fucking pillow time. <laughs> 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 Have I got a few of this video in? Right. Dad. Who's just look at that quilt you got. Oh, lovely. Say hello. Whopper, whopper. Say hi to Kerasis. <laughs> <laughs> to my That's vlog. Very nice. Hello, Kerasis. Hope you do well tomorrow. <laughs> See you on my belly. <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa. Hello, oh. Gina. Right, I need me pillars out now. Pillars. Yeah. Fuck off, Kevin. <laughs> Mum, you can't swear. Oh, sorry. You yes. don't swear. You're not allowed to swear on what my vlog. Too many. Do you want more? No, don't. Loads. <laughs> can you say? Can, you, can someone say good night? Good night. Good night. Good night, Kerry! <laughs> <laughs> so, I am here. Um, you won't be able to see me though, because Brian's table light doesn't work, but the other side's do, look. So, the stable lights work over there, but Brian's stable light doesn't work, so I can't put stable light on. So, I am watching me in the dark, and I have to try and work out in the dark. Brian, please don't do that. But I'm gonna try and quickly work out. Um, I need to go back and get a rug change. And yeah, I need to muck out, change the water, and mm -hmm. we are just going for an early morning walk. I'll we'll show you guys the view whilst we're here. Brian's trying to eat the dead grass, but yeah, I'm just taking from walk. Obviously, you didn't see me earlier because um, I don't have a light in my stable. My light's broken, which is fabulous, so I can't even see when I'm in there, and it's very windy. But yeah, I'm just taking from walk, and then we're going. 
about what the course, my mum. I'll have my temperature checked. You have to have your temperature checked every morning. So I've got a new wristband. You get like a new colour wristband every morning once you've had your temperature checked. It's really good actually, they're being very strict, which is obviously really good. So yeah, I went and had my temperature checked by 10 minutes ago. And yeah, just getting them some grass. Five minutes, take him back, and then I need to come over um, and get my mum out of bed. She seems to have hers checked, and then we'll go over on walk course. <laughs> Matching rocks. Forty-five, fifty-nine, four faults for Keris Withy, and a part E A. Two seventy-eight, Katie Coombs uh, next to join us with another of Penny Grimster's horses. This is Cookie the Fifth, Katie Coombs. Brian is having his lunch whilst I wrap the bandages back up. He's got his pink mash. Then we're going to go for a walk in the rain. I know I didn't update you guys about our class earlier. But um, we jumped the 110 warm up class earlier just so I could get him in the arena. He hasn't jumped indoors since December last year, so I just thought it'd be a good idea just to get him in an indoor. Um, he, it was a bit of a mess. Um, our time was at 9.23, um, but they were running way too quickly and didn't stick to the times. So when I got over there at 9, I had four people until I was in and they wouldn't let me go in at my time that I was supposed to go in at. So, um, yeah, we had a really bad warm-up. Obviously, did get warm-up properly. So we went in there when we weren't even ready. And, um, yeah, I think he was just a little bit spooky and a little bit backwards. Um, and he just didn't really want to listen to me. So it was just a bit of a mess. Um, I didn't ride very well at all. Um, I think I just wasn't really on it where we were rushed and I was just stressed out. And um, after, he had a pole. We completely flattened it and after that I think he just um, kind of just wasn't really on it anymore and was just getting a little bit cocky. Yes, you. He got a little bit cocky and was just dragging me everywhere. Um, so I was really struggling to see a good shot, good strides. But um, like I said, I'm just going to take a walk now. Sorry for the vlog I've been asleep. Um, and then I'm going to go watch my friend. And I'll probably take him for another walk later. I need to do some more fun. And yeah. Brian is currently eating his dinner. I obviously bandaged his leg up earlier. He's got some more hay to last him for tonight. Uh, I've done his water as well. It has been one long day. So I've just been um, helping Ruby. She's had a pole with Hugo. He jumped amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm just walking back now. I'm knackered. Uh, I'm just gonna go take Brian for a walk because he needs a leg stretch. Um, I need to have some grass. And then I will be going back because we're getting pizza hot. I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten all day. So I'm going to murder this pizza hot. But yeah, I will catch up with you guys later, hopefully. I said this earlier, but hopefully I will. Brian, he's going to bed. Sorry, I'm just videoing him wait. But yeah, that's um, me done for today. Um, I'm gonna go eat some pizza now. I'm just gonna turn his light off for his stable and he can have an early night. Ready for our final tomorrow. So yeah, very exciting. Good morning, everyone. So um, it's currently Thursday morning. Yeah, um, I'm just feeding Brian. So his breakfast, I'm just mucking out. Um, it's currently like 7am 
Uh, he's not jumping until what our time is, 1 p.m. But my class starts at like 12, or like 12.45 I think my class starts. Um, and I'm like eight of him. I always get good draws, don't I? Um, I'm kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think I'm just hoping that he jumps well and that I ride him well and the course suits us, but we will see. Um, I thought it was a speed over them. But this morning I'm just gonna help Ruby. Um, she's jumping the second class, but there's only like 10 people in the first class. So I'm helping Ruby, she's jumping like nine. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna get Brian done and then I'm gonna go help Ruby and then I'll come back and have some breakfast. Massage rug time. Riding her own apart, EA, Keris Withy. <laughs> Sixty nine eighty five and it is just the four for Keris Withy with a part E A. Eight got I am back. Um I literally just realised I haven't vlogged anything today really. Um so I had my silver league final earlier. Brian jumped honestly so well. Like he tapped a few of them, but he was jumping really, really nicely. It was a, a tough technical call, so it literally wasn't really that many clears. Um and he literally rolled the stupidest pole and it fell. And honestly, we just were so unlucky. Like, there were people and there were bouncing poles. They were missing left, right, and centre. And they were going clear. And then, bless Brian, he jumped amazing. And yeah, literally rolled the silliest pole on the course towards the end and it just fell. Um, so it's really frustrating because he really deserved to be in that jump off. And I really wanted to be able to jump off but um yeah it just wasn't meant to be for us today but um as always it's great experience and it, um it was really nice to actually come up and jump the final obviously it's not the same toys but it was still really really nice um yeah that's about it we are leaving tomorrow morning because we didn't want to drive home in the dark so yeah we're gonna leave to early tomorrow morning and get home and he can just go back into the field and have some chill time um, so I can take Ryan out to some shows and then he will hopefully come back here next month for the Dodgers Hall Championships but you know you never know um, with obviously all the COVID rules and stuff changing to be honest I'm not really thinking it's actually going to run but I'm still going to try and hold on to some hope but yeah I will try and vlog as much as I can a few packing up etc tomorrow but yeah I'm really sorry about not vlogging today after I jumped I just wanted to go watch and support everyone so yeah that's about it i will see you guys in the morning night checks on Ready? before we go home tomorrow morning Ready? Ready. 
man, it's so quiet. Like, there's literally no one here, look. No one. Until you literally, you know, about that. Someone just turned on, which is quite nice, because it actually gives him some company. But, um, I'm going now, Brian. Breakfast time for Brian. I just need to muck out, clear the whole stable out. And then we are packing up, ready to leave. We are home. Hello, bye bye. I missed you. I missed my little bye bye. I missed you, brother. Look at this. Little baby. I missed you. You miss me. You miss me. You miss me. Chicken nugget, chicken nugget. Brian is out in the field right now, stretching his legs. He's over there. Having a leg stretch with his snotty nose. Um, I just want to say sorry for not um, vlogging that much. Um, on my home, I actually slept most of the way because I was knackered. Um, I'm also sorry for the lack of vlogging across the whole week. I um, was helping people jump in. I helped Ruby and I was helping my friend Charlotte. And yeah, I was just trying to enjoy myself. But um, obviously I updated you guys on how the show went. And yeah, I'm also, I'm just really pleased that um, we qualified and Brian did jump amazing. And I'm really happy with how he went. Um, obviously it was a long journey. Um, I'm just glad to be home really. Um, but I'm looking forward to hopefully being back there next month, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm really sorry that I literally vlogged nothing towards the end of the week, but I'm hoping that I'll do some better vlogs for you um, soon. So yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.